we are busy talking about the black Jews. Uh, now I'll focus mostly on Sherma uh, Tender, uh, Palawur. Uh, the children of Tonga, they were occupying uh, Kruger National Park between uh, Litawa and uh, Olifants. Uh, there's a copy that is called Chukumbu there. Chukumbu belongs to Tonga and his children. And then Malisa moved to what we call Kopolwe. And then he occupied the town today, which is called Palamura Town. And then uh, the, the, the male group, Ramotwa, they moved to a smaller Yanakopi that we call Masasa. And uh, um, Ramalepe moved to uh, Chukutupu. Chukutupu uh, is between uh, the, the, the distance between Chukumbu and Chukutupu, we call it Sisheni. And then um, uh, Ramalepe uh, uh, occupied uh, Chukutupu and, uh, and the, 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 the mining place, which is called Peni was owned by Ramalep and his children. Uh, the the Lekabe group, they moved to what we call Makumban, Marumbini. Uh, so the, the, the Shirongwe, the brother of, 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 of Tonga, which is Musekwa, uh, he occupied uh, Chilongwe. Chilongwe is the name that uh, they, they, they took from Chires in Zimbabwe. So they, 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 they named that place Chilongwe, uh, which, which Chilongo is the son of Musekwa, Muchekwa in our language. That name is found among the Malisa people and the Ramotra people as Chilongo. So Chilongo, uh, Sengwe, Musekwa, Muchekwa, we are talking about the same thing. When we talk about the two rivers, Mukobi and Sengwe, uh, those belong to Musekwa, which others say, say Mabasa, Musekwa, Nelu, So, those are the areas that were occupied. So, in the mountain here, Siabautaha, uh, uh, <clears throat> what we call two mountains uh, today. Uh, so that is where the Malisa people started spreading. They spread to Sabotaka, the two mountains, Mapoten and Mapoten, and then they were disposed at the, po at, at the gun of a point by the white people because they didn't want to fall under Malaji, as the Malaji people are the Suto people, with Botswana people who came here. Now they say they must be, be under them, which they refused, and then they were forced, uh, forcefully removed. Uh, by, by the act that, 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 that they used uh, to, to remove people and then so that they can be under Malaji, which was by 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 then in 1924. So uh, the CLA, as we know, uh, the, the, the CLA people, the Shogani people, they were occupying that place. Uh, the Muloto, it was op occupied by the Muloto group, which is our Kalaka people. Lulu also was occupied by the Lulu people, which are our Kalaka people. Uh, the Sialeni, with time also, there were graves where there's a stadium here in Palawara in town. They, there were many graves there because they wanted to form a town. They removed a lot of graves. They took those graves to what we call a, a Sialeni. So a lot of graves that they've been removed from uh, 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 the town, which was occupied by the Malaysia group. And then in, in, in Goma, the, 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 the mines, the mines were occupied by the five groups uh, that are being mentioned by the history of what we call PMC now. Uh, Mashaile, which is Mashale, uh, Mopa, which is Machete, uh, Shirma Dendere, which is Tonge, uh, Malisa, which is the son of Tonge, and um, Shogani, uh, which is called Siale also. Or, or Sialeni, Salani, some, some people are writing it that way. But those are the people who are occupying those mines there. And then they were using also those mountains that we call Moholo Holo there, and uh, Savong, which there is used, it's called Savong that side. Savong was a base because in the Goma is called Shuam Seve. And that's where they, they, they are fighting. Uh, when we were 
fighting uh, 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 with, with the with the Zwana people, the, which 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 are amongst us here. They 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 they, they went to to take the Tsube people, which are the Shayo group, Mashishimaru group, to come and help them to fight with us. And then we went right here next to the Bombo at Umani. That's where we take some of the soldiers of Makuba, uh, Makuba, uh, by the name of Uyuhi, uh, who also was buried right here in, in the Goma here. So Uyuhi, they came here to help us fight. And then, uh, but they were staying in, uh, about 24 kilometers from the confluence uh, in Kumani towards the Bombo uh, Mountains there. So most of those people, we know them even today. They are the Rosu people, not necessarily the Karanga people or the Black Jews as us. So we are the Karanga, but they, they take the fluid identity as Karanga. Sometimes they call us brothers and the like, and we don't dispute that because we are from we are, we are, we are, we are, we are with them in Zimbabwe. Uh, but they are the Rosu people. The Rosu and the Karanga is not the same group. The Rosu are the Soga chiefs, and we are the Black Jews, the Lemba people. So, um, <clears throat> The, 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 our people were scattered uh, uh, in those areas uh, that I've mentioned. So the Pieni area, the Sishen area, the Dondo area, which extend until Chisaulu, and from Chisaulu, which was occupied by the Mashaino group, extend until what we call the the confluence. So, the like I said, that people were, were being forced uh, by the white people. That that was a strategy, a strategy of of taking our mines. Our mines were taken. Uh, our farms where we've been farming uh, were taken, um, and everything were made as if. They belong to Malaji, uh, Malaji uh, I think their history is replete of that, especially when they inaugurate their chiefs that they are the Swana people from Botswana. Uh, but for some reason, to 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 mislead people, they say uh, they are the leaders of Bukhalaka. They move from Bukhalaka, but when they inaugurate themselves, they say they are from Botswana. So. That is how the Wakhalaga people were robbed of their land uh, by the, the, the Land Act of 1913. So most people, they started moving from that time. Uh, the last group to be removed, I think it was in 1944. Those were removed from Malin. Uh, others were removed from, 19, from 1926. They moved to what we call uh, Badajugu. Mochini, uh, Letawa uh, Ranch. So, what we call uh, Silwan today uh, also is the place of Bakhalagawa uh, Tonge, which were removed from those areas that I mentioned Chukumbu, Udogwe, uh, Kopolwe, Pien area. So, and so those people were forcefully removed and then uh, they were incorporated amongst the the the, the Twana group uh, which are the Chokwe group which are the Malaji group and to date uh, they are still robbed of their land I'm talking of all the kingdoms Makoshu is still fighting for for for, for <coughs> to, to, to be inaugurated as chief today because it's powerful how can the kingdom of Tulamela, which was, which, which was well known today is a heritage of South Africa, owned by Makoshu, Pafuri, but Pafuri, Makoshu is nothing today. And then the Empire Poor, which are the lowest rank of the chieftainship, they are, they, they are the paramount chief. They've got the land. So those questions also affect us the same way in Shermandera and Palawora. Uh, today we don't own anything. Uh, we may be fighting to, to be recognized as chiefs even today, uh, but we know because the Boas, the white people, together with their puppets, they are still clinging to their powers and to their minds, to their farms, to our areas uh, that, that we owned before. 
uh, they took it from us by force and make us to be Sutus. And even their forms, when we feel them, they don't recognize us as people, uh, as if we don't exist. We still have to choose uh, between you as a, whether you are a Pedi or a Tsonga or white. But it's got nothing to do uh, with the labor people, which the kingdom of Vesha extended from Great Zimbabwe until Malelani, which was a, a very big kingdom. How can it be not be recognized uh, today? So th those are the questions that you are asking yourself as the black Jews. Uh, what do we do uh, to deserve such kind of uh, things? Uh, but we know that uh, 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 justice will be done one day. As, 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 as we are conscientizing our people to stand up, you need to stand up wherever you are. Stand up and then help us to, to, to acquire back our land which we, we have been robbed uh, since 1913. We know that the, 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 our people were stopped in 1892, uh, as, as, as they say, a black person cannot, cannot mine. But all the mines are being mined by black people, other than white people, but they say a black person cannot mine. Actually, the mining uh, underground is, is controlled by the black people. Uh, not necessarily by the white people. They don't. They know nothing about uh, going underground and, and, and mine there. Uh, but today we've been dispossessed of all those things. Uh, so we are appealing to all the black Jews wherever you are to 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 to, to stand up, fight for your land, and 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 then uh, get it back. Again, I'm saying if you want to contact me. With questions and the like, my number is 061-401-8008. My email is tsonzo aurora at gmail.com. Thank you very much.